Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about what I packed during my weekend hmm. My weekend stay uh, this weekend, so what I bring um, specifically with makeups the, uh, that weekend, so I'll just want to share with you what I brought with me, so I put them in my Hello Kitty like plastic bag. I bought this um, in the Philippines in Davao in a, like a Japanese shop. I'm not sure anymore the name, but it's like a Japanese shop that they sell like different kinds of things like cute things like this, like Hello Kitty stuffs there, and they're mostly like below 500 pesos or some. Sometimes they have like 900. I uh, know like 99 pesos and yeah it's a bit like muji shop but more colorful and fun um uh things they sell there yeah so normally i separate my brush there's also brushes here but i gave the plastic bag that i i put my brush with it was like this like a hello kitty one and the kid of my friend really liked it so I gave it to her so normally I put it in a separate container container like this and then yeah and yeah that's really cute Hello Kitty thing I loved Hello Kitty when I was young and when I saw them I really want to try and this is really handy during travel because this is like um, plastic and you can put like liquids here so yeah and I realized I can also put makeup so the first things I'm going to show so it's a fairly a big kind of container like you can really put a lot so the first things I want to show you are the brushes. So I bought how many of these? This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brushes. No, <laughs> it's eleven brushes. So for an overnight stay, I know this a lot, but. I did I, I went there for the baptism of my godchild so I wanted to look a bit presentable so I chose to um, yeah bring a lot of brush because of the specific look I wanted to make so this is my favorite brush from NYX so normally it's like my base crease brush yeah all, I use this every day I, I'm not sure anymore what um, name of this is but this really one of my um yeah everyday brush that i cannot live without and i highly recommend the brushes from nyx especially this because it's really really soft and i like how it applies my makeup and another nyx blush i also like this is more like to to um blend my crease if it too much so normally I blend this out after I apply with this brush from NYX and yeah this two combo is really perfect for like applying my eyeshadows and the next one is this brush from Real Techniques so it's the I have no idea there's no name essential crease brush so this is more to contour my nose so I use this for my bronzer to contour my nose and yeah that really works good for that and the next one is this setting brush so this like I've had I've had this brush for, already for years now and this is perfect to blend out the bronzer for my nose and also to apply my highlighter for my nose so I this is my daily brush as well and then my bronzer brush so this is from echo tools so preci precision blush but i use this for to contour my face like this and oh, and this is perfect as well it's a bit stiff and yeah i like the precision it um gives me when i apply the bronzer and yeah I really and this is also soft as well I highly recommend I always use this every day as well I used to not use this but I realized I should it I wanted to try it for bronzer so I'm happy I kept it and now I use this a lot and my brush my blush my blush brush from Lux it's the Lux precision foundation so usually yeah I really need to wash it because it really looks weird already but it's like a bit flat kind of brush but i use this i like this because 
I don't know I it just applies my brush by uh, my blush perfectly so I use this for blush instead I think I saw Korean makeup artist use foundation brush for blush application and yeah it really works and that's my preferred bra brush for my blush and the next one is the Lex Premier Petit Face Finish or Petit, I don't know, the Sueva. So this also to set my face and set a foundation. I, or like, I use this to set my um, face because I like it's flat. Ah oh, yeah, I saw someone who used this for application for um, highlighter, but I prefer this for setting my face and my eyebrow brush it's from boozy i got this for free and i like this because it's soft and long enough to uh easy um application or like um i can brush my brows easily with this and yeah and i really like that it's soft because i bought like um sigma eyebrow brush and it was really really not nice because it's so stiff and a bit painful to use and another for my for my lower lash line to apply the eyeshadow here i use this it should house and yeah i just like how it applies and how easy it is to apply eyeshadow for my lower lash line and the boozy shop fluffy blender brush so this is to use for my mac studio fix foundation to for my pimples and i really love this brush for that it really is perfect for the application and the lux precision shader so i use this when i want to apply a shimmery or glittery eyeshadow so i put it on that day for my um this part to apply the the eyeshadow so normally i okay i'll try to put a picture with the look i did that day i didn't had a picture actually but i i copied a look that i made with my instagram post i'll put a picture so you see what was my look um my look that day and then my eyeshadow so i wore bandicay naked cherry so this is like the the um, the perfect shadow for the look that I did and my dress that day is a bit like purple pink with different kinds of colors that um, resonates with this shade so I chose this so I'm glad I did that look before and I realized I want that look for my dress that day so I recreated that I also have my curl lashes from Shomura. So this was a gift from my friend Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty. And this was I have this I had this already for years and it's still working great. Although I did use or bought the um, like the rubber already for it. I changed it to, I used the shishido one and it still works. And what else? I still I brought like um brow like shape bought it in like a korean web shop i think so yeah it works and it's safe and this too if i over um apply mascara i brush this for with my eyelashes so to remove the like the thickness of the mascara and i've had this since 2008 i guess and this is my oldest tool and this is from Etude House, so I still have it. I did also brought my lip balm because I have dry lips, and this is from your range, and I love it. I also have my what what that is from Primark. I really love this because it has like um like a rough side that it's really good to remove the dryness of my lips, and this is my favorite cheap um wet wipes to remove like lip liquid lipsticks or like stains from makeup and things like that. And I bought this as well, like my setting, setting primer. I need to put it in a rubber because it's um, it's broken, and I don't want to buy a new one until this is finished. So I just you know, to not make a mess. I just put a rubber, and said it's already like that. And my primer. So if I didn't want to bring this, but because this is too heavy and it's bulky, but I want to look 
extra good with that um, yesterday with the call that dope cell like the baptism and um, I wanted to bring this as well if I could buy and find uh, the a travel version of this I would really buy it because I really love this especially during special occasions so this is such a so I would really always use that and of course my sunscreen from Skin Aqua Tune Up UV Essence I think the brand is too long I thought it was from Biore but it's not so favorite favorite um, sunscreen and my mascara is from Lancome it's the Sorbic waterproof mascara so I've been loving this as well although not my favorite but it works so yeah I did bring that I will use that till I think this month and then I will use my new one and my eyebrow pencil from it to, uh, no, from the face shop it's already so tiny <laughs> but I'm still using it until it's I cannot like sharpen it anymore that means it's done so I've been loving that and my brow mascara from the face shop the designing brow mascara and I think it's like black brown I'm not sure with the shade I know gray brown so I think I need to change this because I, it's getting lesser and lesser when I apply it and my studio mac fix studio mac fix foundation and c35 to cover my pimples so that's, so that's how it looks so that's really effective I if it's been with me for years and it's still um, it's a lot of product because I only use it for like spots but I'm still using it still good so I will still continue using it so the next and the last one is uh, my my current cushion foundation the moonshot so it's the micro setting fit cushion shade 301 the dark shade and yeah this is really like really handy because you just yeah it's fast and yeah it's really effective I I without a doubt I prefer cushion foundation to apply for my face than a normal foundation because yeah, it just gives a natural glow and uh, yeah and it just covers good even though not that much but I still prefer cushion foundation than any uh, foundation product so yeah I'm happy with it and that is the last one so those were my um, makeup that I bring during my weekend stay for a special occasion um, a lot, uh, this weekend so yeah I hope this video was helpful for you and yeah thank you for watching and please consider subscribing if you like this kind of videos and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video so yeah thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next one bye